This is a story I heard from a friend. Let's call him A. A is in a band, and at the end of August this year, he went to see a live performance by one of his bandmates. After the show ended and they were cleaning up, they apparently decided to go out drinking. Since it wasn't that cold, yet they went to the riverbank of the Yudu River or somewhere like that. The senior band members who had come to see the show said they were going too. It wasn't feeling well, so he went home. According to what I heard later, while they were drinking by the riverside late at night, telling ghost stories, they suddenly heard the sound of someone rapping. Then they heard a scream. Kea! When eh and the seniors went towards where the sound came from, they found a woman crouching there naked except for a thin shirt-like garment. Looking closely, her legs were bent unnaturally at a distorted angle. The woman was crying and screaming, babbling incomprehensible words with long black hair covering her face in tangled locks. When one of the seniors gingerly asked, What's wrong? The woman kept saying words about what some man had done while talking on her cell phone. She held out the phone to the senior saying, Please talk to this person. When he took the phone and held it to his ear, there was no call connected at all, which freaked him out. When he returned the phone and saw the woman's face, she looked emaciated and lifeless, as if she was probably on drugs. Booked, A and the seniors just left the scene. Hearing this story, I thought it was good they came straight home.